Hey first grade, today I am going to review the chapter 10 test with you so you can look at yours and see how you did. Alright, so for number one it says how many children chose red? So we have to read this picture graph here and we see here's red so we have to count how many people there are because down here the key says each person stands for one child. So I have to count by ones and count my red row. One, two, three, four, five. So there are five red crayons. Number two, is the sentence true? Choose yes or no. More children like blue than red. So I have to go back into the chart and I have to see, do more children like blue than red? More means that blue would have a bigger amount. So if I look at blue, I look at red, I know red has five, now let's look at the blue, one, two, three, four, five, six. Blue has six, and I can look and see that there's one more person here than red. Blue has six, red has five, so blue does have more, so the answer would be yes. Number five, oh, it's not number five, sorry. Number two still, in the middle. Five children like red. Five children like red. So do five children like red? Well, we just counted that and we do know that five children like red. So the answer is yes. Two more children like blue than red. Two more children like blue than red. So we have to compare. So look at the blue. I only see one more child, right? If it was two more, then there'd be another one right here, right? So there's only one more blue than red. So the answer there is no. Number three, one more child gets a blue crayon. Draw what the blue row looks like now. So if there's one more child, then we have to add one more person. Because originally the blue had six, so now the blue has seven. Okay, now we're gonna use the bar graph to answer the questions. Number four, how many days were sunny? So we have to look at the bar graph. So in the middle here is the sunny days. I have to follow the purple bar graph all the way to the end. I can go down and see that it is on seven. So there were seven days that were sunny. Number five, compare rainy days and sunny days. Circle the number that makes the sentence true. There were blank more rainy days than sunny days. So we have to compare rainy and sunny. So if I look at rainy, I see that rainy days goes all the way to 11. Sunny days goes all the way to 7. So now we have to do 11 minus 7. So that's what your subtraction sentence would be like. Remember, when you compare, you find the difference. So 11 minus 7. So I can just count back, right? So I'm going to start on 11. Ready? 11. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. See? So I had 11 in my head. I counted back 7, and I landed on 4, right? 11 minus 7 is 4. So 4 would be circled. Okay? Okay, number six. Ann says the graph shows one more rainy day than cloudy day. Is she correct? Circle yes or no. So Ann says that the graph shows one more rainy day than cloudy. Remember, more means it should be bigger than, right? So Ann thinks that there are there's one more rainy day. So I'm going to go up here. I'm going to look at the rainy. And I know rainy days has 11. Go up here to the cloudy, follow the bar all the way across. Oh, the cloudy has 12. So which one has more? The cloudy has 12. The rainy has 11. So Anne is wrong. The rainy does not have more. The cloudy has one more, right? So she's wrong. So you start, you bubble in no. And then I want to see that you can explain why she didn't get it correct. And I wrote, the graph shows one less rainy day than cloudy day. It doesn't show one more rainy day. It shows one less.
Okay, now we have to use the tally chart to answer the questions. How many trucks does Sam have? So we have to count the tally marks, and I know this is five, and then one more. Five and one is six. And the cool part about tally charts is that they show the totals. So that's pretty easy too, right? So here they showed six tally marks, and the total is six. So there are six trucks. Now for cars, you see they didn't do the tally marks, did they? But the total says eight. So the next question is asking us to write the tally marks for them. So it says draw tally marks for the number of cars that the chart shows. So we know the total is eight, so we have to draw the tally marks. So your tally marks should look like this. You should have five and then three more extra because five and three is eight. Number nine, circle the words that make the sentence true. The number of tally marks for trucks is blank than the number of tally marks for cars. So we're comparing the trucks and the cars. The number of trucks, the tally marks is six. The number of cars, the tally marks are eight, right? So we know that the trucks are less than the cars, right? So the tally marks for the trucks is less than the cars. Okay, number 10. They want us to um, look at this information here and we have to create the bar graph. Now I have to show you when I first read it, I, I originally started drawing a picture graph so you can kind of see the, the little circles that I started drawing and then I went back and realized, oh no, I made a mistake. They want us to make a bar graph. So we've got to make sure we're following those directions. So that's when I went back and colored them in to make them like bars. So the first one said he sees two lions. So the first thing you have to do is make a bar for the lions, and you have to make it stop at two. So the lion has two. Then it says he sees four more elephants than lions. So if it's four more elephants than lions, I need to do two elephants to make it equal to the lions. And then I have to do four more. One, two, three, four. And it stops at the six. So the lions are two. The elephants are four more, which is six. And now it says he sees three fewer monkeys than elephants. So if you look at how many elephants there are, I have to take three away, and that's how many monkeys there are. One, two, three. And so the monkeys are three. So I drew my bar to the three for monkeys. So there are two lions. There are six elephants, which is four more than two. And there are three monkeys, which is three less than six. So you gotta be careful with these directions. Make sure you do it step by step. You gotta remember what more means. More means you're gonna add less, and it's bigger. Less than means smaller, so you'll have to take away some, right? All right, so it says use the bar graph to answer the question. How many more elephants does Chung see than lions and monkeys all together? Oh, lions and monkeys all together. That means that I'm going to have to look at the bar graph. I'm going to have to see how many lions I have, how many monkeys I have, and add them together. So the lions are two. The monkeys are three. So I have to do two plus three and I got five. Two plus three is five. So that was my first step. I added my lions and my monkeys. Two plus three is five. But they want to know how many more elephants Chung saw than five, right? Because that's what the question says. How many more elephants did he see than lions and monkeys all together? So step one, we added the lions and monkeys together. Step two, we have to compare the elephants to five. So the elephants have six. Six and five, that's what we're comparing. If we're comparing, we're finding the difference so we can subtract. So ne the next step is six minus five. And we know that it's one. So there is one more elephant than monkeys and lions all together. Okay, so that one's a little difficult too. You got to be careful with that. It's a two step problem. Step one, add the lions and monkeys. Step two, subtract 
from the elephants. That's what we had to do. Two plus three is five. Six minus five is one. The answer is one more elephant. Number 12, write another question that can be answered by the bar graph. There are many questions that you could have for your answers. I just wrote a couple answer choices, but um, as long as you are asking a question that makes sense and that refers to the information or the data in this graph, then I will mark it correct, okay? So, it's, so one of mine is how many animals did Chung see total? So then they would have to add all three of them up, right? Or how many more monkeys than lions? right? So those are two examples of some questions. These aren't the only two correct answers. As long as your question refers to the information or data in this bar graph and as long as it makes sense. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you did a great job on your test. I'll see you later. Bye.